Hey guys, hope everything is well out there. If you join it for the first time, welcome. What kind of doors open up for you when you actually plug the device into your computer? They don't really cover anything on the app in the guide. So I just wanted to point out what these things are that you're actually looking at when you plug it into the app. I already did a video on how to get sounds on and off the device and the waveform. So I just wanted to cover this really quick. Look here on the display, you'll see at the bottom to the far left, you'll see A. That's your group. And when you hit the A button on the KO2, you'll see it populate if you hit B. B will populate, C will populate, D will populate. There's actually nothing populating because I don't have anything in B, C, and D. There's only something in A. So when I hit A, you'll see A populate. And if you go to zero, it'll say zero. You go to enter, it has nothing on that pad, it has nothing on one, has nothing on two, has nothing on three, has nothing on four, but you can see it highlighted on the actual app as you hit the buttons. You have the name of the sample, which is micro kick. This is the micro kick. If you look here in the sample library, you'll see that the uh, micro kick cell is highlighted. So to the right of the name of the sample, which is micro kick, you have a 0 0.5 seconds that tells you how long the sample actually is. To the right of that, you have 44.8 kilobytes. That tells you how much memory that sample is taken up on the device. And in orange to the far right, on the end, you have PR 7 which stands for the project that we're in. So it's project seven that we're in. To the bottom left, it tells you your serial number. To the top underneath sample tool, it tells you what version of the app you're working in. That's it for this video, guys. Something really quick. I just wanted you guys to know what you're actually looking at when you do plug the device into your computer to use the app. And until the next time, take care. I'm your DJ.